Hi, Tim from Scott Country International. Now today we're, we're out filming and talking about the new product from Zeiss, the DTI 640. Welcome to the Night Vision Show. Right, so what we're gonna talk about today is the Zeiss DTI 640. This is Zeiss's flagship uh, handheld thermal uh, monocular. So we're starting at the rear end then. Obviously we've got a extendable eyepiece that extends out like the Victory binoculars. So you can get that perfect eye relief. Looking onto the base of the scope there, you've got an adjustable uh, collar. So you can focus in your uh, on-screen display and get that crystal clear and nice sharp image. You've obviously got the Zeiss branding, the Zeiss DTI 6 at the top there. Obviously a serial number and made in Germany with a plus or minus obviously to show you which way you're focusing in uh, your on-screen display. <clears throat> Moving down the side of the body, you've got uh, a sling loop there for your neck strap. Obviously comes with a nice Zeiss branded uh, neck strap, neoprene neck strap that goes on both sides. Carrying on down to the front, you've got a removable as a, as a uh, collar there you can twist. And obviously you can remove this to put in a 40 mil lens or a 20 mil lens. Obviously, depending on which one you want to buy, you can either buy them from factory or buy them separate and aftermarket. You've got a, uh, a nice objective focus there with nice and knurling. It's nice and smooth as well. It's not stiff or anything. Normally a lot of new thermals and stuff like that are stiff from the uh, factory, but this is absolutely just smooth. It's perfect. Moving to the lens cap then. Obviously again, Zeiss branded lens cap. Um, like a, a rubbery hard plastic lens cap this just flips off it's obviously got three uh, notched out clips there and obviously three clips on the inside there and it's tapered so that just fits over absolutely perfect now moving down the other side of the scope obviously again all Zeiss branding uh, all these plastic bits are designed here to aid in the cooling of the device and you've got on the side here you've got a micro USB-C for charging and data transfer. Moving up onto the top of the scope, you obviously got your power button. You've got a focus wheel or your zoom wheel. So this is a reciprocal uh, zoom wheel. So you can start at times one up to times 10. Now, if you get to times 10, you don't have to go back all the way. You can just keep going one way and it will go through times, times one all the way through to times 10, hit times one again, or you can go back the other way Hence being reciprocal, you can twist it either way and get where you need to go. Next button on the top, you've got your menu function. You press and hold that for your menu fun to access your menu function, uh, or you can short press to change your color palettes. And the next button on the top there is uh, your record. So again, press and hold that and you'll start your record and you'll see your little uh, camera pick up in the corner and it will start filming, obviously with your timer. Moving on to the bottom of the spotter, you've got a little lens uh, battery cap now it just flips open and you've got a camera style battery in there with a little like rip cord that you can pull to get your battery up really easy that just closes and locks in place like that so that's it i mean an absolutely lovely looking monocular it weighs about 755 grams so it's nice and nice and light and compact now some smart little features uh within this you've got there's things like gps so you can take photos and your videos and you can GPS it and it, you can log all that through the Zeiss uh, Zip app. So the beauty behind the Zeiss app is it's more of a one-stop shop for everything. So you can put on there, you can use your ballistics, you can use your weather, you can use um, what uh, thermal handheld spotters you've got. If you're using a, a DTC a forward add-on, you can put that on there as well. You can add your rifle, you can add your ammunition, you can put your ballistics in there. So the full package that will be coming behind this video will be uh, an LRP with a, D, a DTC uh, forward add-on and the DTI uh, 640. So that will do a full package video on that, showing everything. Um, but you can put all that in the app and then obviously you can take photos and then you can, you ge you can geographically tag them to where they are so you can start to build up a, a hunting picture on your ground 
if you're seeing deer and things like that you can start tagging the areas and start building patterns and everything like that to where uh where the like the hot spots are or where the, the main areas of activity are so that's one nice little function in that obviously everything connects within the app as well on this uh another another cool feature uh within this as well you can you can change it obviously you've got in identify mode you've got uh intensify uh there's four different there's four different modes in there you can change i.e your color palette basically so if you want that crystal clear image in identification mode or you can have it into um like find mode things like that you can just just changes the palettes automatically a bit like some other brands do um another cool feature as well you've got there's a playback function in, in with within this so you can look at your photos if you take a still shot you can pull that back up and have a play shot so you can't view video obviously uh it won't play back the video but you can play back a still shot if you took a screenshot you can play that back and just look over so if you want to just check that 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 was a buck or a doe that you saw in on that night you can take that you can have a look back within the device um another another amazing feature that's not on any other product i've seen so far is fully customizable palettes now the beauty of the customizable palettes this will all be shown in the app later uh, when i film that part of the uh footage so you can change your so if you look behind me now you could have your sky into one color you could have your middle ground into one color and you could have your uh, foreground into another color so if you wanted to say you wanted to have everything in the close ground here you could have that as uh, green and you want everything in the sky you could have that as red now anything ambient in between i.e any quarry species that you're looking for you could change that to bright red and that would just stand out so there's no mistake in if anything sort of a hot rock or anything like that that sky that's ground that's quarry so you can totally customize uh, your palette to what you want and you can change that to any color you can have that you can have your quarry blue you can have the sky yellow and the ground white if you want whatever you want to do it's totally customizable which is a really nice feature add a little play around with that uh, through the zeiss app as well and you can you can really get everything perfect to how you want it so a great little application there um the good thing another little function in with the zeiss it's got some of the products have the pir sensor but this has got a a built-in tilt switch so once the device goes down it goes into standby mode or you can set a timer within this so if you just leave it it will turn off after an hour or whatever time you set or if you leave it on its side it can automatically turn off as well so loads of cool little features um everything like no detail has been spared when uh, zeiss designed this so when we was over in the zeiss factory we watched one of these get built from the outer shell to the eyepiece going in to the sensor going in now it's a 640 by 480 sensor 12 micron sub 40 millikelvin net nd um i've never seen a sensor in real life until i went to the zeiss factory and i watched it getting placed on by hand by one of the zeiss workers there and it's not just they're not just like oh we've we've hired someone quick to get to get a product made they have years and years of experience each person there is selected on qualifications experience and devotion to the job and they they're on that they're on that assembly line so there's making dt60s 640s at the time we were there and they were creating each part and each part it doesn't go along like a big um big production line on a machine every little every little bit comes out of a tray and is assembled by hand hand glued hand soldered everything nothing's like mass produced on machines it's all individual with love and attention like they want they want to put absolute heart and devotion into every product so watching one of these get made well we actually watched about six of them get made at the time um that's that's what they do they're just small little batches so nothing's rushed everything's just a small perfect little batch and then that's it like six of them are done made ready boxed up tested watched everything get tested watch it get shock tested uh everything was calibrated and aligned it was absolutely amazing like one of the best things i've ever seen in my life to be honest like in terms of thermal tech and factory lineups um but yeah we'll, we'll gather some footage with this we'll be using this over the coming weeks 
Um, but yeah, so far, it's just a really nice product. Like I say, 700, 755 grams, it's absolutely perfect. Totally ambidextrous as well, so whether you're, left, you're a lefty weirdo or you're right-handed, you can use it in both hands. And like I say, absolutely perfect. It's not, it's not cumbersome or anything, just hanging around your neck. And like most people do, you can always just bang that straight in your jacket like that and get that pulled out. Perfect. This is ice. DTI 640. Cheers. Mm.